is probably about time to do a little bit of an inventory. I need to put the oil pan back on and to do so, oil pan gasket, don't know what that is, I'll learn. I think this goes on filter adapter. Looks like we got some of these things. Those are good. Got, got a rear main seal. Then I didn't think I got one, but I ordered two front low crank seals. Then I got the two little seals that go into this um, timing cover. So uh, that's our homework. I think the best plan of attack is to get the fuel or, or the oil pan back on so it protects the bottom end of the engine. And so I'm gonna clean out some debris that's been floating around and try to get that back on. So hold the gasket off and I'm not sure what I should do about those, but we're about to find out. It looks like they put some gasket maker on the back and it looked like they had some on the front as well. Now's the time to just get the inside all squeaky clean. Use a little bit of this. What I did yesterday that you weren't able to see was I took the timing cover off first and it disturbed the lip of the oil pan. So the, on this engine, you need to take the oil pan off first and then the timing cover, which means this needs to go on first so the oil pan can go in. And since I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just being uh, Sherlock Holmes here, but there's some uh, gasket and it's like gooped on right there that is on here. So I'm assuming that they had put gasket in the corners of these and maybe along the front lip. So I'm going to repeat that and probably get it all over the crankshaft and my hands, maybe get it in my eyes. What I'm doing now is I'm pausing on putting in the oil pan gasket and I am, I've got to take the gasket off this lightly with a razor. Just, I'm just gonna scrape it very lightly not to take any aluminum with me. I gotta do the face, then I can get a flush fitting to all of that. Oh, and then I gotta remove these seals. So I need to learn how to remove those seals. So that will be, I mean, I'm, that one's gonna take at least three swear words to get that one out. This one looks like it might just punch out, but. I got all the stuff removed, now I gotta figure out how to remove these gaskets. This seems like it's a little dirt bike-ish. Whereas, you can just pop them out. But I don't know how this baby's coming out. I wish I had a seal puller now. Cause this one, is gonna be pretty hard. And I do not want to ruin that lip or my leg. Uh, came out though. So that was easier than expected. Let me clean these off and we'll pop the new ones back in. I don't know if that's correct. But you know, I don't know if anything I'm doing is right. That one looks like it goes right there. Why not get my old friend Warmth involved in this little charade? So I'll just kind of heat up this area till it burns my hand. Scientifically, this is making it bigger. I don't know what that means in non-scientific terms, but it's all I know how to speak. So it's making this bigger. Heat causes expansion. How about that? Was your science lesson for the day. That is hot. That is, she's hot. She's a hot. Ooh, that is hot. It's also in. 
little guy. That one seems like it just plopped out, right? This one just kind of like, whoop. Oh, geez. What? So now I got two shots at this because I bought two of them. This one looks like it just needs a little comforting from my old friend. Warmth. Ooh, this end's warm that I'm holding. All right. Smells like, remember, COVID has screwed up my smell. So what I'm smelling right now are like roasted skunk sacks. So that could be good or bad. I don't know. Okay, let's see if I can burn my hand on something. This is real hot. I just want tiny love taps. We're just painting some nice clouds. See, what you guys don't know is that this is like so hot if i had like fill vision you'd be like paul why are you touching this how do we do looks like we did how's that look oh there's another oh there's two more guide pins down there i didn't see before well, look at that i seal the deal Oh, maybe that's why I was having a hard time getting it out. I didn't know there was guide pins down there. Give her some. Love taps. The question now becomes, do I use this gasket maker in the corners? And I think the answer is going to be Yes, I think I do. I cut the freaking hole too small. <laughs> uh, I need a bigger hole. Seems like I'd be really good at frosting cakes. Is all that this is telling me. This is there. I would say oil pan is on. So this is pretty interesting. Um, we didn't get a better look at this yesterday because I screwed up the video. But this crank has a Woodruff key in it. This does not, but it was sitting right. I can see where it was sitting. It was right there. Um, it came, the kit came with a Woodruff key, but I didn't buy this piece. I bought the harmonic balancer and it came with the Woodruff key. My guess is Normally the harmonic balancer sits on this and they are shipped with a Woodruff key. The conclusion I have is that it doesn't need to be timed because the timing happens up in the OptiSpark. Huh? Oh, like my great Uncle Kenny always said, you got to know when to hold them, you got to know when to fold them, and you got to know when to walk away, and know when to be done, or something like that. Regardless, got those things on, probably call it a day.